good morning and welcome to the Pallet Palace Pompa. It's a Sunday morning, last Sunday in January, uh, and I've been invited out on a ride with a pal of mine from work. So we're off to go and meet up with him now. Um, and then I'm going to see if I can have some fun with some cameras. Four cameras today, kids, that we're going to play with. I've got the Hero 7 which we'll, you'll see there pointing at me. On the front, I've got a Hero 11 uh, Mini, and then I've got the Insta360 on a pole on the back. And I haven't turned them all on yet. I'll wait till we're ready to set off. And we were up last night, late on, doing the valve clearances on uh, on my Karen, the Kawasaki VN800 bobber that I've chopped a bit. A little video of her running. Go, that was Karen so um, yeah I was tempted to get her out for a ride today to test her out but it's just not the right day for it um, it's a balmy seven degrees I think seven degrees it says I'm already sweating my bollocks off I'll tell you I started off with heated, grip, uh, heated gloves. I took them off straight away. They're quite warm without the heating on. Um, so they're in my top box. Uh, and then off for a day out with some like-minded folk. Although I do think I've got a bit of a dodgy link on this chain. So it is due a change. I am going to do a full service on this and do valve clearances and chain and sprockets, oil and filters. I'll do a little bit of a chat about um, my five years with the v -Strom. We'll We'll do that later on as we're riding. Put visor down eh? Be a good lad. Right, this is where we're supposed to be meeting. And I don't know if I'm first in here. Oh no I'm not. So we all got set off and uh, I suggested a particular route, they went oh we'll all follow you, which weren't my idea, I was thinking I'd get it back and get a bit of footage, but well, we might get some later on, when batteries are probably all flat, we'll see what happens. Um, so I did say I was going to do a little bit about v -Strom. So I've had this V-Strom, it'll be five years in May, I think. Um, 
it's a 2012 I bought it we just short of 10,000 on it it's got 37 and a half on it now um, absolutely love it I'd always say to anybody if you only need one bike if you want one bike and you're not sure you know you want a bit of everything it's a brilliant all-rounder it's not class beating in any of the classes but it's a good one and easiest way I have explained it to folk it's like Astra of bikes See if they're all out. They're all out. They're all out. Bless them. See them off at distance. Way to talk for him. So yeah, it's like the Astra uh, of the bike world, right? It's not outstanding at anything in particular, but it's good at all of them. I'm going to get a bit of footage of Zach going past me there. He's probably getting drunk to slow me down. So I'll say this on camera now, and then I'll ask him later whether that's his plan. So, yeah, v um, you know, they hold the value well. In fact, in today's climate, it, it's a bit ridiculous, to be fair, because I paid three and a half for this, like I said, nearly five years ago. Three, three, five, three, seven, something like that. Um, and then I've added bits to it here and there, and that's one of the other things I like about it. I'm going to pull up alongside it. Ask him. Are you slowing me down? What? I said, are you slowing me down? One of the other things I like about the v drum is, you know, bits are cheap for it, and there's plenty of bits out there, and they've been around a while now, and the good thing is, so from this 2012 version on, this is the L2, I can't even remember, um, so this is like the second uh, version of it, but even up to today, if you go and buy a brand new 2023 it's practically the same bike it's got a couple of bits of add-ons but all the uh, all the toys that you want to get all fit Up right enough, so he's on a thou in front. Oh, 
where these two are at the back. You know, so there is loads of little uh, extras you can get, and like I say, the, even the stuff that's made now, so there's, there's plenty about, you know, that's a an aftermarket screen, um, aftermarket GPS mount, don't come with GPS, um, heated grips, and guards, uh, engine guards, belly pan, um, I put a Black Widow exhaust on this, and I am getting to the stage where I've got an itch. I've got, and the itch is, do I trade this in for a thou, right? Or get a brand new one of a 650, spend about a seven, seven and a half, Seven and a half gets you a brand new one, but without any extras on. Now, luckily, um, I've still got the screen, so I can put the original screen back on this if I come to sell it. Um, I've still got the Suzuki OEM plastic belly pan that they charge you 200 odd quid for, which is an absolute rip off. Um, but there's no wrong with this, you know, alright, it's 10, 11 year old now and it's got 30 odd thousand on it. You look after them, you know, it's right. So, I'm still in two minds, do I keep it, do I swap it? Um, like I say, I've got the bobber as well. The good thing about having bobber, I love riding that thing, because it's, it's almost pure and you know, it's, there's no fancy on it. There's no, you know, it's a carb and a V twin. There's no ABS on it, like this has got. Um, what are features that are missing from it? What a, a, a decent cruise control, just for when you're on long journeys. I mean, that's another good thing about this. You could do 200 odd miles on one of these all day long and it not bother um, I've had this one over for a Euro trip um, I've done NC500 and Scottish Islands on it two up fully loaded me and our last you know absolutely superb so ABS I did have a little bit of a, an issue ABS like kept coming on and I checked everything sensors yada 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 in the end, <coughs> I traced it down to the ABS unit sits right where, behind shocker, so it's like captures all crud that goes up over time. I think the terminals sort of corroded, so you just get it off, clean terminals up, give a bit of switch cleaner in there, um, and, and, and touch a bit of carbon. It's been racing. You know, they, they fly through at MOT. Look after them, belting back. So, if you're in the market for one, I'd say I wouldn't hesitate in getting one, you know, this sort of age. Um, I, I mean, that just goes back to prices. What I'm going to say is ridiculous. So, I can probably get three and a half, three, for this now. You know, and uh, alright, I've spent spent a bit on it all the time, adding bits on. But over five years, depreciation is, is now. Now, granted, that's because of the current market as well. That helps. I'm going to work, I'm going to do Zach here. <laughs> 